This video is sponsored by Intel. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Monis, and this is the 2017 HP Spectre X360, a portable and light ultrabook running the latest 8th gen Intel processors, supports Intel's new Thunderbolt 3, and has really fast storage. This is one of the best laptops of the year. 2017, dude, it's 2020. This is the latest 2019 HP Spectre X360 with Intel's 10th gen processors and the new and improved Thunderbolt 3. Hold on a second. You are me, but from two years ago. Okay, if you're the future me, why did you let us <sighs> really? go so much? I mean, you made us so ugly that an onion would cry. The 2017 X360 is gorgeous. It's made out of CNC wow. aluminum, 13.6 millimeters thin, and weighs around 2.78 pounds, making it one of the lightest convertibles to buy. Well, for 2017, that's pretty sweet, but a lot has changed in the past two years. The 2019 model has had its weight reduced to 2.74 pounds, slightly increased the thickness while reducing the overall length from 217 millimeters to 194. I don't know, man. If your laptop could go on a diet, I don't understand why you couldn't too. The design changes are really not that drastic. Please, what about ports? Tell me there's more ports because I'm looking at yours and it looks to be exactly the same as this one. On the right, there's a two times USB type C, micro SD card slot, and then another USB port. Oh, and an audio jack. Is that supposed to be Technically, innovation? Yes, port placement is the same, but the Thunderbolt 3 port is better on the 2019 model. Intel Ice Lake has TB3 baked into the die rather than being hosted on a separate controller. Benefits include increased power saving, more bandwidth, support for 4K HDR, 120 Hertz, and even 8K displays. Plus, manufacturers don't have to use a separate controller, which means they can place the ports on either side of the laptop. 4K 120 Hertz through USB Type-C? About, right? about time. Gamers are going to love this. Too bad we won't because we suck at gaming. I, like, I'm the guy who plays Overwatch and always dies to a Genji reflection. Let's look under the hood. Based on what I'm seeing, yours looks a little nicer with the NVMe SSD and Wi-Fi module being upgradable. Well, the Wi-Fi model in the 2020 Spectre is not upgradable and quite frankly, you don't ever need to. It's Wi-Fi 6, which provides insane improvements. For example, I'm able to obtain significantly faster speeds connected to a Wi-Fi 6 router in areas of my home where the internet was poor. Wow, aren't you just so cool? It has faster Wi-Fi, but the 2017 model has a faster storage drive. Yes, technically the NVMe drive in the 2017 model gets faster write times, but loses out in the read speeds. The 2020 model comes with the one Come terabyte on, instead of 512 gigabytes. Intel's Optane offers similar performance compared to some NVMe drives but at a lower price point. I'd rather have the faster read speeds, slightly slower writes, but double the storage, wouldn't you? Yeah, double the storage to match our future double chin. How did battery life go? Like that has to be improved. Not that I'm complaining, like I'm getting 13 hours of use with Intel's eighth gen processors, which brought huge efficiencies. And I mean like 13 hours of productivity before needing to charge. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Even though the 2020 model has the same 60 watt hour battery, I'm only able to net 10 hours of use. This could be because Intel Ice Lake is brand new and the optimizations are not there yet. I'm expecting this to get better over time. But come on, 10 hours? I mean, that's still an entire day. I'd rather lose a little battery but gain performance and efficiencies in other performance. areas. Performance? How's that even possible? The 10th gen Intel processor has lower clock speeds okay. and the same amount of cores. Same amount of cores, but Ice Lake has a new CPU design called Sunny Cove that delivers an 18% IPC improvement over Skylake. Like, look how much faster compiling Mozilla Firefox is. It took one hour and 46 minutes on the 2017 Spectre compared to one hour and 13 minutes. That's a 30% improvement. Not bad. Not bad. How about GPU performance? Please tell me they improved it because the 2017 model is using the Intel UHD 620 and it's weak sauce. 
Well, I'm glad you asked because it's much better with the 2019 model. The move to Iris Plus graphics dramatically increases the performance. Sure, it's not gonna replace a gaming laptop or become your 4K video editing machine. You're better off using Intel's H series processors for that, but it doesn't mean I can't comfortably go into a 4K timeline, make a few changes, then render a file. Speaking of video, how is the display? The Full HD IPS panel on the 2017 model doesn't have the best brightness. Much better. They bumped it up from 271 nits to 423, Whoa, improved the color gamut, and maintain similar levels of color accuracy. The Full HD model is more than capable for design work. And if that's not good enough, there's always a 4K option. So it seems most of the improvements are coming from the newer Intel chips. Faster performance both with CPU and GPU, Wi-Fi 6, improved Thunderbolt 3, and a nicer display. The only area the 2017 model kind of does better is battery life. Is the 2019 model really a worthy upgrade? I mean, it really depends on your needs. If you're just browsing the net and doing general productivity, then no, I wouldn't upgrade. But if you're someone who has graphically intensive workloads or long run times, you'll see the true benefits of what Ice Lake has to offer. Man, I can't believe I used to dress like that two years ago. No Excuse wonder girls wouldn't me? talk to me. Dress like you this? look like this you is like the best chairs. way to dress. Like, look oh, at you. Disgusting. Look at you. Like, seriously. The fact that look I even at you. You look, look like, like a ball wearing that overweight. I mean, Old man, there's a reason man. why no, no one wants to talk to, to, to us just, anymore because you you're just like a little let us go Ew, disregarding us are. for our health. What are you, you doing? Just munching on burgers. How do they make this far in life? Like it's ridiculous. Yeah.